Uh, hi, I'm Kathy Biga, and I am the CEO of Cardiovascular Management of Illinois in Chicago and the surrounding suburbs. I happen to have the privilege of running two practices. Uh, one is a group of 28 physicians uh, based in the city of Chicago and out in the western suburbs in Hinsdale LaGrange. And I have another practice, Cardiovascular Associates, which is up in the northwest section of the city, servicing Elk Grove Village, Barrington, Hoffman Estates. And we have been live on our electronic medical record for about four years now with all of our physicians fully functional. We use NextGen as our EMR for both practice management and electronic medical record and also for our scanning. So we have it all on one um, database, which has been important to us as a practice. One of the big challenges with EMR uh, implementation is how you get the physician's workflow working in such a manner that you're efficient, your throughput of your patients is as um, rapid as it can be, as well as making sure that you've got enough data within your EMR that actually um, follows the care of that patient through the whole continuum. And the issue is whether you have the physician's free text, which doesn't work too terribly well, or you dictate. And one of our major issues was as we were using external dictation services, how we would get that integrated into the EMR so the record would remain complete and we wouldn't have to be looking in different areas. And CardioScribes came to us on a recommendation of several of my Medaxium colleagues. And we decided that it was really the only option that we had to make sure that we could integrate within our medical record those key components, specifically the HPI and the um, plan for that patient that could really be specific so when the referring physicians get the letters following our visit that they're very complete and have exactly what they need to continue the care of the patient in collaboration with their cardiologist. Probably one of the benefits, um, customer service uh, in our day and age can be spotty at times and uh, when um, I was getting ready to come out here to Seattle. I asked my operations people and some of my physicians, you know, what I could relay to our vendors to help us continue uh, in 2009. It's been a very challenging year for practices. And the one consistent message I got that when, when and if, and there haven't been too many issues, but if they have an issue with CardioScribes, either on the finished product or in the technical side of the startup with the um, handheld dictaphones or even with the phone component, that the customer service is really, and I don't say this slightly, has really been exemplary. The turnaround time is usually very short. Uh, we usually are able to resolve the issues um, if we have them. But the other part of that is that we really haven't had a lot of issues. I think the initial setup, the initial process of bringing the physicians online um, went um, as smooth as normal transitions can go, but once everything is up and going, it has really been pretty seamless. We're just getting ready um, to start. We've got really CardioScribes doing two things for us. One is the embedding in our electronic medical record of those components that uh, need a dictation type of a process. And then the other is freestanding dictation. We have a very active cardiology CTA program. And because of the complexity of the overreads with the radiologist and making sure that we have only one product that goes out to our referring physicians, we're doing standalone dictation with them as well too. So that's a project that we've just started and uh, hope to have that finalized and up and running in the next couple of weeks. But the initial things have been working very well as it relates to that. Well, I don't know how many of you that are watching this have churned through multiple dictation services that exist everywhere on the face of the earth, cover all different time zones, and I think you always have that issue of accuracy and turnaround time. Those are probably the two major components of a, a successful dictation program and something that really drives administrators kind of crazy when you can't get that accuracy and it drives our physicians equally crazy if they've got to consistently make changes and um, correct errors and that has absolutely not been our experience with CardioScribes. The accuracy has been extremely um, good which actually I probably have used 12 different dictations in my 10 years uh, as practice uh, administrator and I think that's one thing you want to look for is how accurate are those letters and components that are within your EMR 
as well as what the turnaround time is and how quickly can they get re-embedded into your EMR. So when your physicians are on call, they can see that whole medical record uh, pretty easily. And I would have to say CardioScribes really comes out in that upper 99% quartile, which isn't an easy thing to do on a consistent basis. So I, I actually really applaud you for being able to do that for us and for my physicians in our practices. If you have any questions, I'll be at the Medaxium meetings, and I'd be glad to chat with you. Or seriously, as you well know, um, getting me through email on the listservs is probably the best way to ensure a response. Um, if you can't get me through email, feel free to give the office a call, and we'll certainly be, try to answer any questions that you've got. Or in the honest answer, I'm just sitting here. I'm really representing my practice, and it really is my operations people that have put this in place and have worked with our physicians, and I'd be glad to put you in touch with them if you've got any issues um, as it relates to the implementation of the process.